So similarly, we talk about measuring liquid first. While measuring the volume of liquid, we use a new tool called measuring cylinder. It's a transparent glass cylinder with markings all over here. So if you pour liquid inside, for example, if I have this height of liquid, I can read the reading approximately 160 ml. ml is actually cm cube. Okay, yeah, so ml is actually cm cube. So that if you still remember, on the last part, we also learned liter equals to 1 dm cube. So let's see over here. So we have measuring cylinder, just now what we show. Measuring flask, which is a different shape, but still glass. Pipette or burette, they are tube shape. So that there's a marking over here. So if you suck in liquid up to the marking over here, it can be certain uh, volume, either 10, 25, or 50, depending on the scale of your burette pipette. For, for bu uh, that's a pipette. For burette, it's like, okay, so there are markings over here, and this one is made of glass. This one is made of rubber. So if you have liquid inside and then it can flow out from here so that the level of liquid dropped and eventually, for example, if finally the level of liquid drops here and then you can read the readings so that how much liquid is left. Okay, that's a pipette with a certain amount, a certain volume. Burette, you can measure different volumes but they are both tubes. So pipette, burette, and... Okay, we have a burette over here. So you can see that's a very long tube. And over here, there's a... Whoa, there's a tap. And if you open up, liquid can flow out. And the water level will drop until certain rating which you want. You close the tap up so that the liquid trapped inside the burette will be the value, will be the volume you wanted. Okay, so that's a burette. Okay, so we have talked about measuring cylinder, measuring flask, pipette, burette. Okay, so we can measure the volume of liquids. Okay, so the volume can be measured up to 0.1 cm cube, which is equivalent to 0.1 ml as well. The measuring tube cylinder is up to 1 cm cube. Okay. And another thing, for example, if taking this measuring cylinder as a sample, the range of measurement, the smallest, as you can see, is 20. So it means if you have 10 ml or 10 cm cube, you cannot get any reading from this measuring cylinder, but they are smaller cylinders as well, so you can use. Okay, so that's how we measure the volume of liquids.